Hi, we are on Arch Labs. Let's have a look which one. 4.8.0, so it's still uh, a pre release. 5.0, this, this is actually going to be the 5.0, but okay. So this is VirtualBox, and I'm going to explain to you how to get to i3 first off. And let's in the meantime quickly do this as well. So as you can see, um, this is called. Uh, the program is called PAMAC, so we have Pac-Man, a little bit uh, different naming. And then you get this uh, PAMAC. And PAMAC is also interesting to tell you that there is also PAMAC Manager, a package manager. And in that regard, it's interesting because it's all the list of all the packages you can install and you have installed. So the active ones are just highlighted and you can find out what files he's going to put where that's quite interesting so the the black box that's just happened right now can be opened you can check it package manager and say okay when i install firefox what happens when you install it well these files will be installed there and there and there and there so in user bin there's a program and in the library there's also a folder with all kinds of stuff and in the share icons he's gonna put some icons and so on. So you can analyze a very visual graphical way to analyze. So we are going to i3. What do we do? Right mouse click, exit open box or super X and then log out. Remember if you log out, you have to decide what desktop you need. So these possibilities are here. Actually, there are only two. This one is just for debugging. So open box or i3. What are you going to choose? This is a tutorial about i3, so let's go ahead and log in. Our config file, which is hidden away, and hidden away in this manner that it's actually here already. So this is the pathway, or the path, and there this file is. This is my heart and my brains of i3. So it sets in here that we should launch Vivaldi on the spot that we should launch genie on the spot and that we should open Thunar. This is Thunar. And um, this thing is today our explication or, or uh, topic because this is a toolbar, some kind of panel down there. Can we change it? Yes, we can. And out of the box, we go all the way down. <coughs> And then a bit up, so the end. So all this um, below is not used, all hashtagged out, nor is this. These are all colors, that's for another tutorial, all colors. And here we start, option three, option one, and option two. You see, let's see what's now active. We scroll down, and we see that this is not active. This is active. This line is active here. So the i3 block, something special from Vivian, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but this is GitHub, and it has proven for me to be stable for the last three years, I think. So I chose this one to launch. If we hashtag this out and we save it and we press super shift, mm. let's activate the program. Screen key. Is it installed? Yes. Super shift and then R is gonna reload our system. And let's see, because something went wrong here. So status command i3 block is control saved. That's okay. Let's see where we are. Save as everything is correct, Eric config i3 config yep that's okay Control shift r so why is there still an i3 block that's what i'm wondering now let's have a look further down the road i think nope not sure why strange things happen even when you're making tutorials that's uh, how it goes. Let's activate another one and see what happens. So let's activate the first one. Option one. <coughs> ah, now 
we get this one. So we activated status command i3 status. So that's a command that's actually the normal status bar, which is okay, but which I do not really like. I do not want this information, or I want this or that information. Of course, I have no battery. I'm on a desktop. So this is standard information, so I don't really love it or like it. Then I made my own configuration file based on that program. And then we get this and country temp. Well, of course, we're in virtual box, so we can't find it. That's okay. But you'll find it in SSD. Um, okay, control Z. Then we have all these options down here. So this is the standard one. Control save and then super shift reload. Now at this look, it's okay for me. No errors down there. So all these lines and just one by one, you hashtag them out, you check them and you say, okay, I like this look or I like that look. This one is quite nice, but there's a problem, so I have to teach you what the solution is. These little buttons here are quite strange. Why are they there? Because it's called Awesome. And maybe, maybe you know already that Awesome is actually a font. So here it is, install Awesome font. Open in terminal, install Awesome font. So TTF font Awesome is going to be installed. And there we go. Reload. And now we have these nice little icons instead of these, well, strange things. So that's another possibility for you to use. You can get this awesome font. And I've made just a, a double actually, I think. I think this is the original coming from i3 blocks. So this is what you get normally. So I have always a backup to figure out what went wrong or uh, what's normal. So this is that and then option three. If you do like conkeys, you can make a conkey as well. And that's this one. Uh, needless to say that you need to install conkey for it. But let's have a look because, aha, there they are. Took a bit, uh, took a while. I do think that these characters, yeah, I believe so. These nice icons are also coming from the awesome font. So if you made another um, uh, choice here, then remember you also have to install the font awesome, which is the script is available in your folder. So this tutorial was just about these, these block here. There's this option three, four, and maybe we'll add uh, future uh, extra elements to it as there are other panels like lemon bar and so many more so this is a selection already for you to try out and you just keep what you like all right have fun in i3